Well, since long before the pandemic, parents have been trying to find ways to keep kids engaged without the need of a screen. It's gotten even harder to do during the pandemic, but a longtime educator and now children's book author is offering some insightful options that's geared towards helping kids reach their full potential. And joining us with more on that is children's book author Lindsay Ann Fink. Lindsay, thanks so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me, Hunter. How are you? I'm great, and I've actually gotten a copy of one of your children's books that is absolutely beautiful. I wish I had it with me. I've already sent it to my niece in Texas to enjoy because that's who really would get the use out of it. But, I mean, tell me, you come, what stands out to me is you have 20 years of teaching experience, and I come from a family of educators. I know how important that is in helping children grow. Talk to us about your three books and just kind of what the main goal is for you as an author. Um, as an author, I just felt um, when I was teaching, I always felt that we needed something to carry the book on. And I, when I wrote my first book, I, I thought, oh, this is great. It's an activity. The children love it. We just sat. We did Thomas the Turkey. We read the book. The children went and found the feathers and they loved it. My friend looked at me and she's like, you need to make this a book. Yeah. <laughs> and so I did. And after that, the other books just started to flow as well. Ronnie's Pool is about um, stories that my father used to tell when he was little, and they're all true stories. So Ronnie's Pool is about he wanted a pool when he was a kid, and his father said, hey, you know what? Here's a shovel. Go dig one. And he did. And I just want children to, to see that and do that and, and know that they're capable of doing things and not just sitting behind the computer all day long. Oh. Like, get up there and enjoy life. <laughs> exactly. And I see it behind you there. Um Mm -hmm. All three of them, but specifically yes. Ronnie's pool. And it comes with, or it has just a precious little stuffed animal that goes, I'm <laughs> sure, right along with it. And I mean, when you start to talk to parents, what is their main concern right now as this pandemic, I mean, has really uh, sh made them struggle to find and keep kids engaged? And, and how do you hope these books maybe speak to them and give them that opportunity to talk about those really, the things that are the most important, instilling those important values? Um, I just want parents to know that they, they can be empathetic and see the possibilities and, you know, create beautiful opportunities for children to learn. And all of these books have those in them. And we can find books in libraries. You can find books um, in your children's classrooms. Teachers can do this as well. It's just read the book and follow it up with an activity. There's always an activity. The Boy of Joy, you can find hearts in nature. Thomas the turkey, you can find feathers in nature, you can find feathers around the house. And with Ronnie's pool, you can get outside and just play in the yard. Playing in the dirt is so good for children. And when you read these books and sit with them, it's a great time to connect with, with them. <laughs> and your <laughs> and beautiful family <laughs> there, isn't that so special? Well, Lindsay, tell me, what can parents do? How can they find these books if they want to get them online? Because you are a San Diego author, so many wanting to support local. <laughs> so talk to us about that and just what your message is uh, for parents out there who maybe are trying to kind of ignite that fire and that love for, for reading in their child. Yes, you can go to my website and find them, um, lindsayandfink.com, or you can get them on Amazon as well. Um, and I, I did used to teach at a school in Solana Beach, Hannah Finishell, and I loved working there. It was absolutely one of the most inspiring schools that did inspire me to write these books because it was a play-based school. And what what what's better than reading a book and playing afterwards, you know? It's just... There's so many great schools in San Diego. So um, I, I, I did live there for a long time, but um, I'm, I'm not living there anymore. <laughs> and, where, and you said Amazon, they can find it there. And any tips to get parents to kind of start that? How do they maybe broach, let's read a book tonight, if their kid is saying, no, I don't want to. What are some good tips you have to, to maybe ignite that fire? Just set a routine. Um, I, you know, books don't always have to be at bedtime. They can be during the day. Like maybe, you know, before we turn the TV on, let's read a book. You know, and then it's kind of, you know, a routine. Oh, let's read a book and then we'll watch TV. Or, you know, I do do reading before bedtime with my children. And we do it during the day as well. Like we do a book and we'll follow it up with an activity throughout mm -hmm. the day. So there's always time. I love that. I love that. Maybe switching it up a little bit then, maybe doing it in the right. afternoon so they're not just looking, you know, dreading maybe bedtime because that's when such a good idea. As a former San Diego County resident, <laughs> we appreciate you so much coming on tonight, Lindsay, and talking to us. I know this is going to help so many parents. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Hunter.